Tuesday sure was a soaker of a day for much of the state. Some areas broke their 24 hour rainfall records. Other areas doubled their monthly totals. I'm UF forecaster Amanda Holly here with a look at kind of what happened and why we saw so much rainfall. I'm going to start with a look at some rainfall reports from uh, here in north central Florida. Hail plantation saw over two and a half inches in this 24 hour period. The Gainesville Regional Airport saw just over one and a half inches. Now most of Alachua County actually started this month off in a deficit deficit for the entire year. Well, now after this rainfall, we're actually in a surplus. Before this rainfall, though, uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture actually had this little strip of yellow here in an abnormally dry. They, they noted it as abnormally dry, but again, this was before that, and I'm expecting that uh, this rainfall kind of took care of that abnormally dry situation. Now, we actually needed the rainfall, but some areas did not. But I'm gonna, first, I'm going to give you an, kind of an overview of kind of what happened. So on Tuesday early morning, we had this uh, thing called a mesoscale convective system system develop in the eastern Gulf of Mexico and that's just a fancy word for an organized group of thunderstorms that uh, kind of has its own little area of low pressure and has a little bit of rotation to it. You can see it here in this very end of that spin there. You yeah, kind of pushed across the state and of course just dumped all of that rainfall here in the peninsula and that actually was not needed in some areas across South Florida. Uh, Vero Beach actually broke their all time 24 hour rainfall record. They saw just under 12 inches of rainfall in this 24 hour period. Now we're not in the clear just yet either. We have more rainfall on the way. Check this out upwards of, upwards of an inch still expected here in Gainesville. Higher amounts expected where they already saw even higher amounts uh, in South Florida upwards of two and a half more inches expected through Sunday. Now, some of you may be wondering, you know, has rainy season already started here in the state of Florida? Well, that really occurs when uh, when we stop to we, when we start to see these fronts stop moving through and we've got another one going to make its way through on Saturday afternoon and into Sunday evening. It's actually going to filter in some drier air. So I do think that we will see uh, some uh, one more break in between this rainy uh, rainy season preview and when the rainy season actually starts.